Hey developers, today we are looking at 2021 web dev project ideas. We're gonna look at some really cool APIs you guys can use. So if you are looking to learn web development or you are a seasoned veteran and you're looking for a fun project to do, then stay tuned, make sure you watch all the way to the end. And I will tell you about all these different APIs. I will also include a link to all these different APIs in the description so you can check them out. You can sign up for them. A lot of them have are 100% are free. Some of them are free for a limited use. They, they are really neat. So, so check them out. Also, if you're brand new to this channel, my name is Eric. I'm a full stack software developer. I'm also, I also have a few free cheat sheets, especially if you're into something like Vue.js. I have a link in the description. Just go ahead and click on it and put your email in and you'll get these free cheat sheets. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just hop into this. So first, if you have been following Bitcoin, Bitcoin has been blowing up lately. It was at $28,000 per coin recently. I, I think right now is a really good time to jump into the Bitcoin ecosystem. And a really cool project idea that you could try is create a trading bot or create something that shows the historical price data. Now, I'm not necessarily saying these project ideas are gonna be ideas that you can use to make money off of or create a business. Like talking to an API and grabbing uh, historical price data is a really good exercise of things that you might be doing in a real job. You'll be connecting to a database. You'll be retrieving information. Uh, one API that makes this really easy is Coinbase's. Now I know Coinbase, some people love them, some people hate them. I am one of the people that actually like them. If you go to developers.coinbase.com, you can get their documentation. You can connect to their historical API and grab data for not just Bitcoin, but tons of different crypto coins, 100% for free. So I would first, yeah, check out Coinbase, check out the developers.coinbase.com and yeah, try that out. Okay, my second project idea that you should try in 2021 is a COVID tracker. Now, unfortunately, this has been, uh, 2020 has been a very bad year. Uh, lots of craziness has happened, but maybe you can help out. There's a lot of great websites, but learning to how to talk to these APIs, grab data, uh, is very interesting. It's a great project idea. Uh, this says create, creating a trading bot. I'm going to just leave it in here. Obviously, that's wrong. What I mean is create something that will show you, uh, show people the trends that are happening. You can get how many people are, are being infected, how many people are dying. So it might be a, a, a good project to do. And a great API to do this, if you're interested, is there's COVID19API.com. I have heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, I saw it on Reddit um, a few months ago. There's a lot of other free APIs. So I'll list, uh, if you go to COVID19API.com, it, it mentions a few, but I would start there first. It grabs John Hopkins data. You can take that data, put it in graphs, learn a little bit about different graphing libraries. So yeah, check that out. Number three, video sharing. Now I think video in general is just getting bigger and bigger every year. Every year, YouTube uh, just keeps gaining subscribers, keep, People just keep coming to this website, but there really isn't great alternatives out there. And I think a fun project, especially if you're a beginner developer or intermediate, is just to try to create like a YouTube clone or a private video sharing site. And I have some personal experience with this because I was messing around with that myself. If you don't know, I actually did a uh, video for Traversy Media a few months ago where I used the AWS APIs to create like a, a photo book. But there's actually ways to create something very similar using the YouTube API and actually using actually the AWS media API. So if you go to mux.com, there's a few resources here. So here's a couple of APIs you wanna look at. First, if you go to mux.com, that allows you to basically take any video source that you have and convert it into uh, video any, any sort of video files that you need or you can convert it into files that you can use to stream. So you can create it uh, M3U8 files, I believe what, are, what they are. And so that allows you to really quickly create like a streaming site so people can watch your videos. The AWS Media Services is a great way to do it too. And if you're using AWS Amplify, as I had mentioned earlier, you can use this AWS Lab Amplify video plugin. And this does all the heavy lifting for you to actually connect, uh, have a Lambda, take your video, go to the AWS media services, convert it over into all the different formats so you can use it for streaming, or you can create like a Twitch clone too. It's really cool. So I would highly recommend check out the mux.com, check out the AWS lab, amplify video plugin. Uh, also one other note, I did a video probably like two or three months ago where I talked about really cool Vue.js projects. And one of them was a fully featured YouTube front end. Uh, I could just imagine taking that front end and then 
using something like this with it, you can really create a, a cool website, a cool streaming website. Another really good project idea for 2021 is to send postcards. Uh, so there is, uh, we as tech people are probably used to sending emails to everybody, but there is actually physical mail out there still. And there is actually APIs that allow you to connect and send information to people via postcards. So try to create an app that sends postcards to friends or have it like a private group or sell uh, postcards. That might be fun, might be a cool project to do. Uh, one, you can do this through docs.lob.com. Lob.com is a service that allows you to send physical mails and checks, but you can use it to send postcards as well. And then I found one called thanks.io, which can also be used as an API that you can sign up for to send physical mail as well, including postcards. I think these are both kind of really cool things you can do to, to try to get out of the virtual world and to get into like the physical world and get some get used to playing around with APIs. Another really nice one, you can send, you can create an app like that to send birthday texts or, or birthday phone calls to people to, to wish them, um, your friends and family, a, uh, a happy birthday. You can even connect this up to Facebook's API so you can find everyone on your friends list that has a birthday coming up and then have it automatically send a text. That might be pretty fun. Uh, there's a really good API called Twilio. If you haven't heard of it, there's there's a handful of, of ones that even AWS has a way to do this too. But Twilio has some great documentation. It's been around for a while and it allows you to send texts and phone systems out of it. But this might be a fun little project to see if you can connect to the Facebook API, grab your, or just manually put in phone numbers and have it text happy birthdays at certain times of the year. Another really fun one, and I've, seen, I've heard this mentioned a few times, is like create a GitHub timeline. So as a developer, we're all on... Probably, we're all on GitHub. On GitHub, you'll probably see every time you pushed a pull request, every time you created a project, there's a lot of information in there and, and GitHub shows you some graphs and things, but a lot of that stuff is public accessible. It's 100% free. And what'd be nice is create like a graph, graphical representation of your GitHub timeline. So yeah, use the GitHub documentation, create it. This would be like a really beginner kind of uh, project. I don't think it would take a, a ton of work. Yeah, so yeah, check that out. Another one is like an email uh, email list. So there's a lot of services out there that provide email services to developers. And some of them, uh, you might have to, you might hear this this word called transactional emails and there's promotional emails. But it'd be cool to like create your own email service that sends out emails to people and you can have it so you don't have to pay, you know, money to these different services. And one way to do that is to use something like SendGrid. SendGrid's a great way to send transactional e emails. And if you get good at SendGrid, there's a lot of companies that use SendGrid. There's a lot of companies that use transactional emails and having this on your resume and creating like a project based around this is a pretty good idea. So you can create, you can try to see if, you put all your friends and family in one email list and then start using this SendGrid to send out emails to them instead of your normal mail sender. And I just wanna mention this, I mentioned a lot of these different APIs recently, and I know some of them in this video I mentioned cost money and some of them are free. If you want a really large list of free APIs, you can go to this uh, GitHub public dash APIs slash public APIs, and it literally has hundreds of free APIs you can use to just test stuff out. So uh, I know I prefer the, set, the previous seven I mentioned, but if you just want to play around with different APIs and different projects, yeah, check out this list. All right. So this was a quick video. I'm a tad bit out of breath. Just, I'm so excited talking to you guys. So leave a comment below. Tell me if you've used any of these APIs. Would you recommend them for other people? Or are you, uh, or what, have you used the free APIs I listed? You let me know. And also if I get enough responses and comments with, with people who want me to do another video, I will take one of these APIs and do a video on it. So leave a comment, let me know what API you want me to do a video on, and I'll go deep dive into it and do it. And also I'll probably share with you, I've been doing some video stuff recently and I wanna share that with you guys. And also quick attribution link for this slide deck to the great people at SlidesGo. So yeah, check them out too. Let me know what you think, leave a comment below, thanks.